Hello everyone, welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausal Tripathi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about the geometric shapes. How we can draw those geometric shapes, those like lines and uh, squares or rectangles, we can draw it on our images, or how to write something on the image. Like uh, you want to caption that image, you want to write something like write the name or something on the image. How can you do all those things on set of my image? So let's get to our, let's get on to our spider ID and see how we are gonna do all of this amazing stuff. Okay, so here we are. Let me zoom it a little bit. Okay, so this is our general basic code. We have imported two libraries, import numpy as np. Now this np as does it's just create an alias for the numpy. Numpy is a numerical lab numerical library for Python. Then uh, we have all already set this cv 2 read function. And this print, then cv 2 I am sure if you have watched my previous video, you have got the pretty good idea of what is happening over here. Now there is this one special line: image is equal to np dot zeros, comma np dot uinta. Now what this does is creates an array, array that is of a shape 512, comma 512 in length and breadth, and three. Three means it has got uh, like uh, you know three slides. Or you can say, you know, in the in the we use this uh, like a color section. We create RGB, so we we got three slides uh, behind each other, and uh, with the shape of 512 by 512. So this is what it is creating an array, mm -hmm. uh, like the three metrics, one behind each other, of size 512 by 512, and uh, it's we have given its data type np comma unt8. And uh, let me show you if I run this much part only. Okay, and if I press F9 over here, now you see here this uh, there's an image. Uh, this variable is created over here, and if I open this variable and give it an axis of two. Now let me make it closer. Okay, now you see here. Now this is these all values are zero. And we dot zero. What it does? It just gives all the values to zero. Right now, what there should be is the whatever the color we are gonna need to provide the value that color. But as we are providing it zero, so guess what's gonna become of the zero? What color is gonna form over here? And you can see it is 512 by 512 matrix. You have come down and you see it is 511. It started from zero. So wait a minute. Let me show you. It started from zero, so they are like 512. You know, uh, its length and same thing is for the width. If you go sideways. Complete. Uh, let me see. Okay, it is going to take time, but it is up to 512. Okay, so this is our matrix created uh, for 512 by 512 with the values all zero. Now we're going to close it. And uh, so, and if I uh, right now show you this, what it looks like, the color of it, F9, you know what I'm, I'm sure does, and wait key and destroy all windows. I'm sure just show the whatever the image we have created or we have loaded on wait keys or like for how much time you want to stop it, you want to look at it and then destroy all windows, it, it will remove that image. So if I open it, you can see it, it's a black image over here. From the, it's like a blackboard, we've got a blackboard, you draw whatever you want. Okay, so we've got our blackboard. Now let's close it. Now this, this I've used this another uh, CV2 I'm read. And I've called this Lena one image. If you have watched my previous videos, we have you know put a Lena one image in our directory. And if I run this right now, F9, now uh, in variable section you see our image is it's now right now different with some values not zero. And if I do right now this I am show method F9. Now I've got this image over here, Lena image. Okay. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you all the shapes, creating shapes even in the image that I have created with the help of np zeros, that blackboard of ours, and in this image also, or any image that you wanna upload, you can do it. But I'm gonna right now work with this image. I'm gonna make shapes over here only. Okay. So first of all, if we talk, when we talk about shapes, and let me tell you also the Lena one image that we have is right now loaded. If I have also printed its image dot shape. And you can see here it gives me output of 512, comma 512, comma 3. So both our images are the same shape. So we have got no problem with that. Now let's create our geometric shapes. Now what the first thing comes in mind when we talk about shapes? 
first thing is line okay because every shape is made up for line so to create a line we use a simple method cv2 dot line method okay and uh, oh wait a minute cv2 dot line and uh, this line method takes a uh, lot of arguments like first argument is it takes in h okay now you can see here this i got this screen over here and i was filling it and it says first argument is make second argument is point one now like if you want to draw a line you need two coordinates starting point and the ending point now we are going to here give a starting point and it will be in the form of tuple and the first starting point will be let's say something like 10 comma 10 no problem and then the, we are going to give it second argument point 2 final point it will be like uh, let's say 255 comma 255 no problem okay then we are going to give it a color now color will be in the form of not like we are like red green purple blue yellow no it will be in the form of again in the form of a tuple and uh, it will be in the indexing form like uh, now let's give it a color like 0, 0,255,0 okay guess which color is going to form here because it is in a BGR mode we are giving it a color and we have put a blue as 0 and red as 0 only green is right now 255 so that means it is going to be a green line so let's see what happens then we are going to provide it a thickness thickness of the line so what will you let's say 5 is the thickness and you don't need to worry about the rest of the thing okay now if I run this line Code over here, cv2 run line f9. Okay, it runs perfectly fine. And now, if I show my image over here, and you see here, we have got this line over here starting from the 10, 10 coordinate up to the 255, 255, which is almost a uh, center point of our image. So, this is how we can create a, a line over here. Now, we can uh, also see it in the, uh, this. Uh, Okay, let me do one thing. Let me make it I am C1 and uh, under C. Let me create one one more I am show and I'm gonna put it one. Okay, this will be lane underscore shape and this will be normal shape. See the dot weight key, everything's solid ball perfectly fine. Okay, let's run this F9. You see, we got two images over here. One is uh, blackboard and one is this, but you can't see green color in the blackboard, so you can see it's not visible. Now let me uh, let me change the color so that uh, you can see it in the blackboard. Let me close it. Now let me close it too, and let me put some color over here. Mm, over here, and we are gonna provide it some you know, random color like. Uh, uh, let's give it like 56 Okay, and uh, let's see if it's gonna work right now Or maybe give it also some color over here like uh, 100 and Let's see what color is gonna form right now Okay, again no color is being Okay, wait a minute one more thing we are missing over here. I haven't you know we are putting this on image one only. We have to put the same thing on uh, our image one that we have created. And now let's see. Okay, because we were only doing it on one image and we weren't doing it anything on. Now you see here, we've got two shapes. This is the color of the line. This is the color of the line over here also. And uh, marking on both of our images. Okay, and you see. We have used the same color index for both of them, so we've got the same color. Okay, now we have talked about the line. Now we can also see uh, if these are lines, we can also create an arrow line. You know, line which is an arrow in front of it, and it, it is called cv dot cv2 dot okay arrow line. Now again, the same thing is uh, the arguments inside of it is like first is image. And then you have to provide it point one. Point one will be same thing. Or maybe I should just copy this much from here. Control C. Control V. Okay. Back it close. Now. Okay, this is for image one. Okay. Now 
let's run this whole code again. Now you see here we've gotten ourselves an arrowed line over here. Now there is a, another line over it on this place only, but you can see it because we have put it on the same x uh, same coordinates. If we change the coordinates of it, like uh, let's give it something like 20, comma 20, and change it also like to 300, 300. And do the same thing with also 300, 320, okay, control 8 of 9. Okay, it's again, it is all similar, but you see here it runs a little bit farther, started from the same like 20 by 20. So obviously, it's gonna, but you see, there's this another line also present over there. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit more change. I'm gonna make it 70. 70. Okay, we will see it in the next image. I'll show you now. Uh, let's uh, we have to have a line and a line now. Let's just create a rectangle over here now. Again, for rectangle, same thing cv2 dot. There's a rectangle method over here. You don't have to do much again in the rectangle. We have to provide it our image, then uh, we have to give it again. You can see here description point one. Now, when we talk about a rectangle. We have to give it the two diagonal points, you know, upper right point and the uh, oh, sorry, upper left point and the lower right point. Okay, so the upper left hand, let's give it uh, um, let's say 100, comma 20, and uh, lower point, let's uh, say, what should we give it like 200, comma 40. Okay, then we have to provide it a color. Okay, same thing. We can give it any color, like uh, uh, let's give it 0, 255, 0. Okay, our choice. And thickness. Thickness of the line. Okay. We can give it 5. And uh, let's copy this whole limit. Let's copy it. Oh, control C. Control V. Okay, and we will give it image one over here. Now, if I run this whole code, you see we got our two separate lines, and there's this our rectangle over here. But this doesn't look good because you know, if whatever the coordinates you will give, it will make a rectangle according to it. We have to give it a coordinate of 100 by 20, and this looks 100 by 20 over here. And then we have another one, we have given 200 by 40. So, this point is 200 by 40 over here. Okay, so this is our okay image of rectangle and square. And to make it look more better, you can increase its size. Like you can say, it like 90. Now you can give it 20, but you can change it and convert it into like 100. Okay. Right. Now this is a rectangle we've talked about. Now the next thing comes with circle. So again, cv2 dot. There's again a method called cv2 dot circle. You got a method for everything. Okay, cv2 dot circle. Again, you have to give it same arguments image, comma. But in the circle, you have to remember there is not points. There is like center and its radius. That's only how much how much you need required to create a circle. So we're gonna give it a, some kind of a center. Like uh, let's make a circle. The center 255 comma 255. That is our center and the radius point is let's say uh, 100. And uh, again, the color thing is whatever the color we're gonna give it. Okay, let's give it color like um, um, a different color to look at comma zero, comma zero. And again, the thickness is whatever the thickness we're gonna give it, give it five. Okay, and copy it. Control C. Okay, and make it image one over here. Now, if I run this whole program, F9. Now you see we've got a circle with a blue color over here. This is our circle with a blue color, and we have also changed the shape of the rectangle and the use number, and this is our change shape rectangle over here. Now there's one more thing with a rectangle and a circle, you know. We have given it thickness five. What if we give us the thickness minus one? Minus one. And again minus one and minus one. Now let's find. You see, it is filled with whatever the color we have provided. It has it's a filled circle, not a 
is an empty circle. It's a right now filled with that color in the same thing. So that's a rectangle filled with that rectangle over here. So this is what thickness, how thickness works. We provide the minus one, it will act as a minus one. Color like color. Now we talk about simply the circle. Same way you can create for the polygons, lots of polygons you can create with it. Okay, it's your homework. Try it out creating a polygon. So you got a function over here like cbt.polylines and through which you can work it. Now it's your homework. Try it out polylines. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about putting text inside of our like the, we on the right, we on a caption that I made with uh, some name. How are you gonna do it? So for two days, cbt.polylines.pub.pub text and in this, so again, we get the same variables. First variable is IMD as it shows over there. And the second variable, text, whatever we want to write it. Okay, it will be in a string format and whatever we want to write it, like let's say, you know, uh, we can say shapes. Then, third argument is uh, um, ORG, it was origin point of the text, from, like from which point you want to start writing the text. So, let's give it something, uh, anything like, uh, let's say 200, 200. Okay, then next thing is comes font, font uh, or uh, like font type. Okay, so there is this method for it also. There are lots of uh, fonts inside of a CV, uh, CV2 module. And let's see, what are these CV2 dot uh, font? And uh, over there it is showing font dot for she simplex, but we have got a Okay, yes, it, it showed over here. Font. So you see, these are all the fonts that it takes inside font. Hashi simplex, plain, duplex, complex, complex, small, triplex, then italic, and uh, there are lots of. We will take it simplex only right now. Okay. And uh, terminate. I might be not be able to see it completely. Let me enter over here. Okay. So we have taken this. Now, what's the next argument? Let's see. Font scale. It means what is the size of the font? So we will give it any size, like three, let's say. And then the color. Again, okay, what is the color of our fonts? So again, we are gonna give it some color, like let's say, sample give it red. So we give it zero comma zero comma two fifty five. And then it says thickness. What is the thickness of the font? Okay, we are gonna give it a thickness, like again, give it a five or whatever thickness that we are using. And I think that's all that we need inside of it. Okay, so this is. Uh, let's copy it and control V and use it for image one. Okay. Now, if I run this whole program, let's see. Okay, it's written over here shapes, but actually it has flaws because we've started from here and it doesn't cover complete, so we couldn't see it. But you see how that's that's how we can write something on the image and let me make it correct over here. Let me close the windows and uh, uh, let me change the index. Like uh, we wanna start from, um, let's give it hundred. It also hundred. Now oh, let's run it. Okay, now you can see here it started from the hundred point. And you, if you remember, our rectangle was also started from the hundred. And if you match this, this point of the S is at the hundredth of the width hundred. And the same thing is over here for both those things. Now, so now this is this is a very concept. To which you can uh, you know create edit in the images and basically this concept you are gonna see it and when you are working with our facial detection you will see whatever the face you wanna put a square over there that face as I've shown you earlier in my slides in my first video so to detect a face you need to put a square over the face and this is a web method simply a rectangle method to which you put a square of wherever it detects a face or if you wanna put a circle you can put a circle or uh, and you want to uh, arrow create an arrow line saying this is a face or something you want to uh, write something with an arrow line that this is this this is that so this is how these things works or maybe you want to also write your uh, whatever the uh, name of a person you see over there you want to write it in the image only behind below or above that person so that way you can use it by doing the code text method of cv2 so this is all about geometric shapes and uh, you see, there are lots of font size I've shown you uh, when I was writing it. You font. You've seen there are lots of font shapes over there. And the uh, same thing in the other, like uh, there you can work in the polylines. That's your homework. Practical with these things, with all different kinds of shapes, change their size and all, and see what you can do better with these. Okay. So this is it in this video. See you in the next video.